All right, Constantium, I'm having a problem. I'm running out of experience constantly. So, we got a double blaze spawner. Let's make a farm. If these blaze leave me alone, actually, it's nice to get some experience. Well, building the farm montage. Let's just go ahead and front load all of our, the entire episode in the first 30 seconds. Now we got a lot to do. This is just step one. Stop hiding. Who are you talking to? I broke the farm immediately. Yep. I was trying to put this glass window in and I broke all the signs. Lava proof signs. Yep. But look at it. It's perfect. We got like a nice view from the AFK area so we can see when it's spawning right. This one side is done. Looking per... It's almost done. Just got to put a couple blocks on top of the spawner. So get in there. What are you doing? Hey, bud. Uh, just, just a heads up. That's not how the bow works. Oh. There we go. I should have did this earlier when it wasn't as dangerous. What am I doing? No, 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 no. This is bad. I was 100% positive I was going to make it all along. Yeah. A little too close. I do have totems, but I don't like using them. Unless I have to. All I got to do is clear out all the glowstone and then we run. I don't want to get knocked into that lava. Got to be careful. So like I was saying, all we got to do is clear out this glowstone and then the farm's ready. Okay, come on. I just got to clear the glowstone out and the farm's ready. I actually thought the blaze were going to stop me from talking. I don't have anything else to say. I, I guess we actually do have some time. It's kind of relaxing, actually, making a blaze farm. But how are you doing? Look at this. We're rolling in the experience now. Dude, I got too many mobs. Look at all these mobs spawning here. No, I need them all. Pretty much haven't made a single upgrade to my gear since I found stuff in the end. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of becoming an issue. I wanted to spend the next couple days getting all my gear maxed out, and then maybe I might bring like the mobs into one central area, but I'm not sure. The farm is working great, so I don't really want to fix it unless it's broken. Oh, look at this. This is the real loot. This is like our not-so-great enchantments that didn't really work out, so maybe I'll make some kits or something. But check it out. Sweep! I mean, that's a pretty good sword. I got a maxed out fortune and silk pick. Finally. I had some pretty decent ones, but I broke them a long time ago. And I've been using some pretty gnarly, uh, like really low tier stuff. But look at this gear. I'm a professional. Yeah, it's been months and months that I've been wearing gear that any mob essentially could two shot me. I'm strong. Well, I'm stronger than I was. And I can finally use some of this netherite we've been sitting on. Nice. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like enchanting, I don't like villagers, I don't like any of that. I, I put it off as long as I can. So for me, getting totems as quick as possible and then like being able to make an insane amount of mistakes, that's kind of like more my style. I started to build the harbor a little bit more. We gotta move the creeper farm, it was in the way. Here we go, and magic. I absolutely will decorate the outside of the farm one day. But we'll get there, you know. I'm definitely not putting on a fake smile and smiling through my teeth. No. We will actually get there, seriously. I want to work on this interior area a little bit. I needed to go get some oak. This is going to work. I'm slabbing up the area. Dude, I had too much blueberry lemonade. Oh, that stuff's not good for you, but it's really good. I'm liking the sound of the mobs. That's a good sign. But I do need to put some trap doors on the farm because it's like spawning all kinds of stuff. That is the sound of a creeper mob hitting magma blocks. That's what we want. Look at this area. Dude, I'm liking it. I might like turn these into like some auto sugarcane farms or something, but right now this works. This is working. I got a bunch of sugarcane outside and then a bunch on stocks. So like, I don't really need this. It was more like an aesthetic thing. As soon as we get a little bit more rockets, I'm going to go base hunting. This is not quite enough. Not yet. What I'm thinking is the Ender Garden needs some work, the house. After I went to the end and made this garden, I kind of just left it. So it definitely needs a little bit more love. So we're going to go back to this soon. I mean, it's a garden, but it doesn't feel like a lived-in garden, you know? It doesn't feel like I'm living here. Same with this. The entrance is just like, I don't know. I still didn't add anything else to here. So when I do like the Ender Garden and everything, I'm going to kind of do all this at once. It's going to be like the next episode. Same with this. It's all going to get decorated. 
by the next episode. But I'm really liking how the road and harbor is wrapping around. I kind of started leading it into the desert so that we could start building over here too. Kind of flattening this out for a future build. But I am a little worried though. A couple people have probably found this base. Well, I'm not exactly hiding it. Well, I've actually been messaged by someone saying they did find it. And I'm hoping for some good luck and some goodwill. You know, I'll keep building here as long as I can. But I've been marking everything out. I've been moving the farms. I've been kind of planning out where I want things. So the next big episode is like the crunch for this village. I want like the large bulk of the decoration and everything done. So it's going to be a big mega build episode next one. But I need to get outside. I need to get some fresh air. I need to fly. I need to, I need to forget how to fall and fly. Base, wait a second there. Yup. That's exactly what I thought it was. This is a base close to my heart. So the random cobblestone along this path might look a little bit messy, but it's actually not. Every block adds to the story. You ever notice like the puddle that forms in the same area that you walk after a rain? Or like, oh man, that one side of the porch is water damaged because it keeps flooding over there. It's like one random block can actually tell you a lot. Like being somewhere people have walked over tens of thousands of years where like there's grooves in the stones. So did the base builder live with the plants and let them move in? Or did the base owner move on and then the plants sort of grew in afterwards? I don't know. The base has got that really cool like left to nature aesthetic. And I'm not going to say that the grief adds to the whole vibe or anything. That's, you know, you make your own assessment. But I mean, I mean, this is a pretty cool little area up here. No, it's it, it's a cool base. Look at this. A lot of work, obviously. I didn't see a single sign who actually built the base. So whoever did, if you're out there, it's a cool base. I like it. Looks like you got the whole villager set up. Everything's pretty much ready to go. But it is really cool to be able to see some of the history on these servers. What do we have here? Secret. Is this a mine? Well, it's mine now. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, it's actually a skelly spawner. Nice, very cool. I actually don't need any of this. I actually do need to get on the road, though. The never-ending base hunt continues. On Constantium, it's almost like worth it to check the portals. So I've been like searching mostly in the nether. I've actually gotten kind of used to not being able to see while flying. Whoa, wait a second, Wither Skeleton Farm. Whoa. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I just like walked up here and got like a full stack of Wither Skeleton skulls? That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? No, it's not gonna happen. Yo, if you own this farm, I'll trade you some stuff. You know, I'll just all AFK for some trades. <laughs> If you need anything, why are you still here? I got stuff to do. 